And welcome back to Business Casual. I'm your host, Nav Nanwa. The Mississauga Board of Trades Women's Leadership Committee presents Own Your Success, taking place on May 3rd. And join me to talk about this event in greater detail. I have uh, some of the women involved in this wonderful event. Uh, to my right, I have the Advertising and Sponsorship Manager for the Mississauga Board of Trades, Sonia Oja. I have the Corporate, uh, actually the uh, a general manager for software for Cisco Canada, uh, Rebecca Leach, and lastly, I have a corporate recruiter and trainer for ARI, Alexandra Miller. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me here to talk about this wonderful event. How are we owning our success uh, at the event? And Sonia, I'm going to begin, begin with you. How are we owning our success? Yes, because I'm really curious in finding out. Well, I'm not sure how you're owning your success, <laughs> now, but um, <laughs> one of the things that MBOT is doing is we're putting on events like this, and we're, we're trying to educate our membership, mm -hmm. and uh, not just our membership, but everyone, for mm -hmm. that matter. Sure. We've got high aspirations. Excellent. Everyone. Yeah, everyone usually <laughs> does, yeah. And um, the purpose of the committee itself is... We're here to educate. Mm -hmm. We're here to help women, professional women. Excellent. And, and that's the distinction, I think, as well, because there are a lot of great organizations and associations out there that are there to help women mm -hmm. in Mississauga and, and the GTA. But we're here to help professional women. Excellent. We're here to, you know, give them advice and, uh, like I said, educate them and. Uh, just let them know that they're not alone, I guess. That's great. No, yeah. and, and these support groups matter a lot because, you know, um, I actually did a show a couple weeks ago here on Business Casual uh, around International Women's Day and the topic mm -hmm. around the glass ceiling. And it was just, it was great to hear um, how these women's support groups exist, not only within uh, the community, but also within organizations and, w and within, you know, industries and how they really helped guide other women to, to you know, further their careers and, and mentor them. Uh, Rebecca and Alexandra, how did you guys get involved with the Women's Leadership Committee? And Rebecca, we'll begin with you. We have a great partnership with MBOT. Mm -hmm. um, we have for years. And uh, we're very passionate about, about uh, gender diversity mm -hmm. and empowering women. At Cisco, it's important for us to have a, a voice. Mm -hmm. And um, we're actually sponsoring the, uh, the October event. Our very own Bernadette Whiteman, our president of Cisco Canada, oh, is excellent. going to be keynoting That's great. on October 25th. So it's really important for Cisco that we're there. We have a presence. And, uh, and that there's a conversation that continues to go around female empowerment. That's great, mm -hmm. Alexandra. Absolutely. So I have a pleasure of working for ARI, mm -hmm. which is one of the largest global fleet management company. Mm -hmm. And of course, being an automotive industry, which is typically is very male heavy environment, um, our organization has recognized that women are great contributors to our company. So we tried to cultivate an environment where women have a lot of support and opportunities equal to everybody else. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I got introduced first to the Women's Network at ARI, which is a North American network, mm -hmm. and where we have an opportunity to come together, share experiences, because a lot of us, it turns out, have very similar experiences. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so there are very learning, great learning opportunities. Um, we're, um, we are able to mentor one another, sponsor one another. So. I got so inspired by the, my colleagues, mm -hmm. but also very aware, and not only aware that I'm a woman within a corporate environment, mm -hmm. but also a female within a very heavily male-dominant mm -hmm. corporate environment. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do more, of course. So when an opportunity with MBOT came up uh, to join Women's uh, Leadership Committee, I jumped on board. That's great. No, mm -hmm. I think, you know, one of the things you mentioned about being, uh, you know, a woman in a really prominent position in a male-dominated industry, such as the automotive sector, um, is great. It, it, it's a great thing to kind of uh, be in, because you're almost, uh, you know, what I would say, a bit of a pioneer, but also you'll, you, it's easy to get that support group going. It's easy to kind of rely on other individuals who probably are in the same situation as you and uh, to get that support when needed. Uh, what would you say is, like, the overall goal of the Women's Leadership Committee? To educate. Educate, okay. And to educate and to make sure that uh, there's a, a collaborative and a safe environment mm -hmm. for women. And they have somewhere to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is great. And I think this is really uh, important to have in the city of Mississauga as mm -hmm. well, especially at MBOT providing the service. Because mm -hmm. if you look at the city of Mississauga and the amount of uh, Fortune 500 companies that exist mm -hmm. that have mm -hmm. headquarters here, uh, it's really phenomenal to see that, you know, the networking possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. 
Exactly. Um, one thing I do want to uh, talk to everyone about is why do you think the conversation of female empowerment needs to continue? Because you know, if you, if you think back to it, you know, uh, Rebecca, you mentioned a great point about your CEO, Cisco Can, the mm. president being a very strong woman and someone who's, yeah. who's you know, uh, you know, what I would say, you know, 20 or 30 years ago, that probably was, <laughs> was wasn't going to be evident. And then you know, you also talk about women breaking into industries that are male dominated. Um, you know, are we at a point now where female empowerment's sort of becoming the norm and, and should we embrace it more so continue the conversation and Rebecca will begin with you you know I think it's so important to continue the conversation and for a lot of different reasons if you think about this digital era that we're in this mm -hmm. is the age for women this is all about women's skill sets leading and for success in the digital era. So mm -hmm. things like communication, collaboration, looking around corners, diversity of thought and leadership. These are all skills innate to women. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's absolutely critical that we continue the conversation. Um, at Cisco, we're doing it in two ways. We kind of have two lenses on it, an internal lens and an external lens. Mm -hmm. Um, internally, we've got programs that are focused on our high potential females, where we're looking at you know building out their skills, um, providing them with tools that that give them kind of the necessary skill set to take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. So you know making sure that they have uh, engagement opportunities and awareness and visibility inside the organization, and that they're in these programs. Externally, we have a, a new program actually we just launched. It's called the Women's Entrepreneur Circle. Oh, excellent! Yeah, and it's a program that is really designed to partner with female female business owners across Canada and the idea is to provide a forum for women's empowerment, for networking, um, for virtual learning mm -hmm. and also um, the opportunity to have technology, access to the latest technology, that's great. but also partnerships. So that's why you know I'm here from a Cisco perspective. <laughs> um, the partnership with MBOT and, and with the, you know, this committee that we're talking about, the, the importance um, debt headlining in, in the keynote, mm -hmm. um, those types of partnerships are really critical and it kind of propels the conversation. You know, the one thing I, uh, we had a, uh, a women empowerment group uh, within my MBA school up at McMaster, mm. uh, the, the degree school of business. And uh, one thing I was always jealous of is the quality of speakers they would have at yes. their events. And I, I get the one on May 3rd is definitely evident in that as well. Mm -hmm. Who do we have being profiled that own your success? Uh, we have, uh, our keynote is Kim Mason. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's the regional president for uh, RBC. Excellent. Uh, and RBC has also uh, came on board once we got the keynote on board. Mm -hmm. um, they saw the value and mm -hmm. they're, they're on board as a sponsor as well. Tremendous. Yeah. Especially in the banking industry, uh, that being at one time a very male dominated industry, same as the automotive sector, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's great to see a lot more women making strides within that. Mm -hmm. It's really phenomenal. Um, when it comes to uh, support groups within organizations, um, you know, you talk with the initiatives that Cisco mm -hmm. is doing, what more can be done across your, uh, you know, across companies, especially, you know, ones that maybe are a lot smaller in scale? And, and I'll, I'll throw that question to you, Alexandra. What more could be done? So uh, definitely, I think a, a big thing that I'm starting to discover as I'm building partnerships with schools for the internship program that we have at ARI, mm -hmm. As I'm educating students on what fleet is and what possible careers we have within a fleet, mm -hmm. and I'm relating this back to the women's empowerment, I think it is very important to start educating the younger female generation mm -hmm. about the different career paths that they may have within certain industries like uh, automotive or mm -hmm. professions like information technology, mm -hmm. like engineering, yeah. because mm -hmm. I don't think they think about it immediately. Um, and educating them is very important because that will open up a lot more doors for companies mm -hmm. and widen that candidate pool as well. But I think they'll be surprised. They may actually really be good and love those careers as well. <laughs> so Yeah, and you know, I think back to when I was studying in school and you know the, the thought of a female engineer, you know, ten, fifteen years ago was mm. just it would baffle some people. They're like, oh, why would they want to go in such a male dominated mm -hmm. industry? And you fast forward now, there's so many of them, right? Mm -hmm. And but there's not enough. Yeah, there's, there's not, not enough. enough. Yeah, there's never there's enough. There's not right? enough. Yeah. You know, one one th awesome thing about women empowerment groups is the mentoring. And mm -hmm. I would love to get just all three of your perspectives on just the roles mentor mentors have played within your success. And Sonia, we'll, be, we'll begin with you. Um, I guess I, I've had female bosses mm -hmm. and. Um, I was just telling everyone a story outside uh, about my first female boss, which was not a good mentor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can learn from those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly. So um, my greatest mentors, I think, have been um, 
women who have made it mm -hmm. and people like Oda uh, Bernadette, uh, Cisco's president, yeah. and women who who've gone that extra mile and have haven't haven't really let present company accepted mm -hmm. men stop them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, there I take are. No offense to that. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, you know, the, uh, the culture and the the business workplace the way it is right now. Yeah. There are so many things that stop women. Oh yeah, for sure. And you and, know, I, I think even with the amount of strides that have taken place, yeah. You know, and, and Rebecca, I think you mentioned a great point around. You know, it's still not enough. Right. Yeah. It's still yeah. there's still work that needs to be done. And I'm curious to get how, how, how have mentors influenced in your career path and, and the successes you've seen at Cisco. Uh, tremendously. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, I think about it. I think about three things, mentors, sponsors and advocates. And I think, you know, to build out your network, you really need to have one of each or, yeah. or multiple. Mm -hmm. Um, mentors are something that we, we talk about as somebody that you can kind of lean on and get advice from and, and coaching and follow their way. But I think it's also really and possibly equally as important to have an advocate in the organization or multiple oh, sure. advocates, people at the table when you're not there. Mm -hmm. You know, speaking about mm -hmm. you and, and talking about the attributes that you bring to the role and why you. And, and those become your sponsors, right? So it's really important that you build out that network. Exactly. For me, I've been really fortunate. I've had some great mentors, but like you, Sonia, <laughs> I've also had a few that haven't been the greatest. Yeah. Um, and I think you, you learn from each person and you take what you need and you move on, right? Exactly. Oh, that's so great. really critical, yeah, for sure. Alexandria. And you ladies have touched on all, most of the very <laughs> important <laughs> topics, but I will, I will add this. Um, my mentor from ERA, and she has um, climbed ranks and has a very um, senior position within our global organization oh, now. That's great. Um, so my biggest takeaway from that is um, that I gained the confidence and removed perhaps some of the self-doubt that I had mm -hmm. uh, that perhaps my male counterpart may not have had. So I think that is the biggest thing that I would take away from that relationship. That's Absolutely. great. Well, we have less than mm -hmm. a minute left. I do want to ask just one question and you know, just keep your answer, I guess, very succinct. Still me to say that. Okay, fine. Just, I just want to make sure I get everybody <laughs> in. Um, what's your hope or, uh, or vision for uh, women in the corporate world in the future? And then uh, Rebecca will begin with you. Okay, um, so I think you know our hope and vision is gender diversity, yeah. inclusive leadership, getting men at the table, as well as women, having accountability in the organization. Uh, Cisco Canada, we have 45% of our leadership is women, so we're getting there. We're making some really significant strides. Excellent. And I think it's about leveraging technology to, to enrich everybody's lives. So allowing women to have the choice to be a mother and a corporate citizen and make mm -hmm. it all work and be successful. And how do you do that? You leverage the technology and the innovation and the efficiencies Excellent. that that brings. So I, I think you can really have it all. Unfortunately, we are right out of time. I think you, you summed it up really yes. well. I think you know this is a tremendous event that the uh, MBOT's behind when it comes to the Women's Leadership Committee. And that's, again, on May 3rd, Own Your Success, taking place at the Linehead Golf and Conference Center. We'll be right back after this brief commercial message. Thanks again. Awesome. Thanks.